Hey guys, Keith of Alaska and Dual Sport, and man, it's a hot day here in Fairbanks. It's about 85. And I just got done watching a video where a guy was cleaning his air filter, and I thought, hmm, I haven't checked mine in a year or so. So I was going to check it on my WR and see just how dirty it is. And I might just go ahead and check the other bikes too. All right, so the air box is behind this, I believe. So we're going to have to take this off and then try to get this off with the saddlebag on here. All right, so there is the air box. It looks like I need to get a Phillips screwdriver to open it, and then we'll be able to see it just how dirty it is. Mosquitoes are really bad here this year. There's actually one biting me on the side of my head right now. Ow. Mm. That looks pretty dirty. Well, so I've got this the K N N recharger air filter cleaning kit, aerosol oil, fast and easy application. So we'll take that off and uh, clean it up and see if we can get it looking better. I'm sure it'll make the old W R run better. All right, so this is a lot worse than what I thought. Cause look at this, I couldn't even find the metal band that holds it in place and look at all the crap that's sitting on the so this thing desperately needs cleaned wow all right so i finally got the clip undone one good thing is it's clean on the other side of the filter but gnarly on this side this thing's been through three four feet deep of water and really dusty trails so let's get this sucker cleaned up also this air box is a mess there is water and goop and so anyways up underneath here right here there's a little clamp on there you can pull that off and that's where that water is supposed to drain down into but I have never drained this so it's obviously full so let's take that off and see what's in it all right I got the clamp down let's see how easy that pulls off oh, I'm afraid to see what's gonna come out oh look at that at least that'll drain out of this box then I can get this box cleaned up. No need to clean up the filter with that nasty box. Uh, so look, this thing was full of sludge. Well, I had this K&N power clean. I sprayed it all over the uh, filter and it still wasn't clean. So I used this mean green degreaser and cleaner sprayed it let it soak for a while then rinsed that off and then I went ahead and just soaked it in some Dawn and it's clean as can be now so let's get this thing clean and dried off and uh, I've got some K&N oil filter spray well I set that filter there in the Sun so hopefully it will dry out and then we can get it oiled in the meantime let's finish cleaning out this box here it looks nasty it's been draining so we got all that out of there we just need to clean it up well got that box all cleaned up looks a lot better than what it did so now I'm gonna go eat some dinner looks like we're having some firehouse subs tonight sweet this is my favorite 
smoked beef and cheddar brisket. Oh yeah. Bow. All right, so now that we have the filter all cleaned, let's go ahead and spray some K&N air filter oil on there. Oh yeah, that's a lot better than what it was. Thing's gonna breathe easy. All right, so now we got the filter all lubed up. Let's make sure this is clean. And then we'll put all of this back together. Alright, so I'm going to try to do this one handed. And there we go. Looks a lot better than what it did. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting all this back together. Well, I almost forgot this tube. Need to put it back on. Oh, that's super easy. Well, one last thing to do. Let's put this on. Well, now that we're all done, I guess there's one last thing to do. Start it up. Oh, my battery's dead. All right, take two. <laughs> 